Greetings and welcome back one and all to the Cal's Eye without any of its function components. Now that can mean only one thing and that is right, this is a build tutorial. Now, I will say that uh, for the most part the Cal's Eye was constructed in a single episode. Therefore, it's reasonable to assume that uh, a build tutorial would be unnecessary since you can watch that one episode and see it be built from the ground up. However, a little bit of tweaking has been done here and there, and a lot of people have asked for a build tutorial, so I see no reason not to oblige. Though you will forgive me for uh, how complicated this bot is. It may not be strictly the same shape when it comes out the other side of this build tutorial, and that is why I've left the, the sort of skeletal hull there for now, so we can have a proper look at this before we uh, s delete that and build it all anew. Now, for this build, you are going to need six tier 7 wolf legs. Now, you can just use regular tier 7 legs or tier 8 legs if you particularly want to. These are one of the only components that I've noted that have actual different stats. Now, let's see if that's still the case. 40 P-flops, 40 P-flops, robot ranking 15,497. Uh, these ones have got a much lower robo ranking. That's actually quite interesting. Armor, 9,958 on the wolf leg. Lower armor on the uh, regular walker leg. Carrying capacity, 10,000... Uh, sorry, 1,050. Same between both. And they have the same weight. So these are better armored and can be fit into a lower rank than these. Hmm, that's, uh, that is a, definitely an interesting one. These were available... Either by purchasing the uh, Timberwolf, I believe the bot was called, though I do not believe that that is uh, available anymore, or by unlocking during the uh, the right period of time, I think. Let me just uh, have a quick look at the Robo Shop, see if that robot is still available. Uh, no, actually, the Overwolf, oh, it's the Overwolf, not the Timberwolf, it is still there, so you can still buy these components this way, if you particularly want to, but uh, the event where you could simply purchase these legs is now over, unfortunately, so uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be coming back at some later date, hopefully they will. Uh, perhaps the, the same time this year, but uh, we'll have to see on that one. Now, so as I was saying, six tier 7 wolf legs, or any other leg you particularly want to use, five tier 7 regular rudders, 13 tier 4 thrusters, four tier 6 thrusters. You will also need two tier 5 alignment rectifiers, one tier 7 radar jammer, and one tier 9 radar. Now, I have received quite a lot of advice that uh, the radar jammers really aren't worth the amount of uh, P-flops and, and the general cost that's involved in having them. I still like having them, honestly. So, uh, I will probably keep the cows out with this uh, radar jammer, especially when used as a rail, but understand that if you wanted to get rid of anything out of this build, that's probably a safe bet to go for. Now, as for the, the eye candy, two flags of your choice. One gold developer badge, or another flag of your choice, honestly. Um, two double vapor trails, and of course, a name badge, so everyone knows who you are. Now... As for the skeleton, you'll notice that these uh, platforms are designed for weapons, but I haven't listed weapons in this uh, in the itinerary. Now, the reason for that is, largely, the Kalsai can be equipped with different types of weapons, depending on the situation. So, listing a specific build with specific weapons is probably a little bit misleading. You can put whatever type of weapon you want on. These are big enough to accommodate four tier 7 railguns and one tier 6 railgun on the top, and you can easily increase the height of that to have an additional tier 7 if you really wanted to. But uh, honestly, you can comfortably fit any of the other guns as well, because they are all smaller than the uh, rail guns, except of course for the Tesla blades, but uh, those are not included in this build. Now, as for the skeletal structure, fairly intricate. This is gonna take time to rebuild, 
But uh, I thought it would be worthwhile just to have a quick glance around it so that uh, if you only need a quick pointer because you've managed to follow the build for the most part but uh, don't want to have to find exactly the spot in the video where I'm going to be rebuilding that part then you can know that at this just before I take it down that I actually have a good look at everything so you can compare what you've got to what I am starting with because honestly there's a fair chance that what I'm starting with will not be what I end up with at the end of this build tutorial but uh, hopefully this will be useful to you. So there we are. That is the Calzine, of course. A little cockpit there. Ah, uh, it's wonderful. I like this little cockpit. It looks nice. But uh, that is it for now. I am going to go and delete all of that. And when you return, we will start to build a new one. And welcome to something a little bit different. A little bit spur of the moment, you could say. As I was uh, preparing to take apart the cow's eye, I recalled the numerous suggestions to try and speed up and, and make my build tutorials a little bit more concise. I should record taking it apart and then play that in reverse. So with a mind to trying to think of how things would look when played backwards, I took apart the cow's eye and what we're seeing now is the reversed footage. Now, there are a few places where I don't properly uh, consider how it's going to look in the end, and as a result, I, I disconnect things in odd ways, but there are relatively few of those. And um, if this becomes uh, something that we we do more regularly, I'm sure I'll get a little bit better at considering the, the ways that I should be uh, taking my bot apart. But for this uh, this trial, you know, we should always try something new. You shouldn't just uh, discard it just because uh, you're you're comfortable with what you've already done. You should strive to remove yourself from the comfort zone as often as possible so you can discover new and wonderful things. But uh, hopefully this will serve to both speed up the, uh, the build tutorial creation process on my end, but also be a little bit less rambly and a little bit less inaccurate when putting it back together. And this is the, the part that I uh, thought about after the fact where I'd basically taken it apart without keeping in mind that it's basic, It's gonna look like it's just disconnected and it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to measure where you're building. But uh, I imagine a couple of people are gonna have to watch this section more than once, possibly rewinding from about here where they can use what you can see there to, to base uh, and, and measure out where you're building, but uh, hopefully mistakes like that, should I do a build tutorial like this again in the future, won't happen. Now, I unfortunately didn't think to do this before I'd taken all of the components off the vehicle, so we're only going to get the uh, skeleton, but part of me thinks that that's actually for the better, honestly. Uh, the only other thing which was I wasn't really certain about was how I'm going to, uh, how fast I would um, allow this to play. Could I, would I let it play at 100% speed, just in reverse, or would I slow it down a little bit? I have gone with uh, full 100% speed, just reversing the uh, the playback. But I could speed this up in the future if necessary. But uh, especially with the Calzai, which is a fairly complicated bot to start with, I thought it might be best if I uh, actually let it build out a, a little bit slower so it's a little bit easier to follow. Now we're just going to finish off the rear section where we're going to fix the rear legs and of course the very important vapor trails and robot uh, name. I mean I suppose we also do actually put thrusters back in and I've read but uh, you know that those that we could live without those we could not however live without the vapor trails and the robot name. As you're well aware, they are far too important to the success of this robot. And the final part then are the middle leg uh, braces, I suppose you could say. And then hopefully we should be done. I am of course commentating this from the future. Uh, 
hello from the future. It's, it's more or less the, the same as, as it was in the past. Don't don't worry too much. No, nothing nothing big has happened yet. Uh, I mean, aliens came and, and we're now serving them, uh, but they're fairly benign overlords. So honestly, you you should probably look forward to it. They're better at ruling us than we were. And there we are. Now, I sincerely hope that that wasn't difficult for you to follow. I myself used that reverse recording to rebuild the Calzai after having taken it apart, but obviously I am aware that I was the one who originally built the Calzai, so uh, somewhere in the deep, dark places of my mind, there were memories of doing that, and I was probably drawing a little bit on those as I was putting it back together, so uh, I can't use my own experience as uh, a complete guide to whether I uh, got the formula right with the speed uh, of the uh, reverse recording, but hopefully that no one had too much trouble and uh, if you did have any trouble it was just a matter of pausing it and rewinding the video but uh, do let me know in the comments below whether that was useful whether I should continue with the with the way I've been doing it up to now which is literally just taking it apart and then slowly putting it back together as I talk or uh, going ahead and just reversing the recording of me taking it down obviously with uh, with me learning a little bit better how to take it down and what will look better when uh, played backwards but now that we have done that it's time to put the functional components back on the calzai. We're going to start with the uh, eye candy components. And uh, that's rather relevant because the first two make the calzai's eyes. It's fantastic. Now, I uh, realized that it may have been useful had I recorded taken off the components, but obviously I'd already done that before deciding that I would give the, the whole reverse recording thing a try. So uh, perhaps in the future I'll do that as well. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. There we go, Calzai, that's everything. Now the T7 radar jammer goes down here, goes, has a nice little spot. It could fit on either of these, so it's really up to you, but uh, I actually genuinely prefer it being there. It just looks a little bit better. It looks more centered somehow. We'll place that there, and I don't quite remember where this one came from. I think I am going to place it above the radar jammer. There we go. The radar, I believe, went there. There we are. We can get rid of all of these. Now, the thrusters have fairly obvious placement. One there, one there, there, and there. Though that one... There's a slight possibility I may put that in the wrong place. Oh no, it doesn't matter where I put it. Never mind then. I can place that anywhere I want. And we'll go ahead and we'll place the first two uh, rudders as, as, well, horizontal rudders as well. And I guess we may as well place the uh, forward two as well while we're at it. Let's get rid of all those white blocks. Now then, where did you go? I think you went in here. And if not, wow. Uh, you go there now. Uh, okay, now there are quite a few of these. I believe one was nestled up there. And in fact, I'm just going to take care of all of you. Now, I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain that we had three arranged like that. Now, if I am wrong, I'm going to feel very, very silly. Because I'm really confident that I've got that right. <laughs> I'm going to be interested, interested in finding out whether I did or not now. We also had some side thrusters. Uh, did I have left and right at the front? I don't actually think I did. But I do recall that I had... Hmm, where did you go? Did you go over there perhaps? I'm not sure at that point. But I am fairly certain that I had the... Uh, the lateral, the manoeuvring thrust is reversed compared to the uh, forward one. So that's uh, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. But I'm not sure where I put you. Uh, did I have you nestled in somewhere like this? But perhaps I did. I'll go ahead and place you there. I'm fairly certain these were forward thrusters, but I, I d just don't know where the forward thrusters were placed is the problem there. Could have even been tucked in there by the uh, by the cockpit, but we'll uh, have them going there for now. Right, the walker legs are all that remain, and then the Kalzai is ready for its weapons. Let's uh, just get rid of all of this. There we go. Now these, there should really only be a few places these can be placed. 
so it should be fairly obvious. Ooh, now then, that is not good. That is really not good. Did Was that moved back, perhaps? No, I'm fairly soon it wasn't. Hmm, I will have to have a look at that then. Uh, does this one fit in there? Yes, it does. Okay, well, that's not too bad, but I've clearly done something slightly wrong at the front. I'll have to check the video again just to make sure, but... Uh, Hmm. Did I perhaps have this draw out a little bit? I'm not sure on that one. That looks too obvious a place for the uh, rudder to go for it to be wrong. In fact, it's pretty much the only place the rudder could go unless... Aha! I see what it was. I had these in the wrong places. Those looked too obvious to me. Ah, oh, silly Avak. I really should have uh, thought ahead and, and decided to uh, record the placement of all this. But that's right, I had all of the rudders along the same plane as the primary thrusters. That's where I had gone wrong. And I believe I had these probably tucked in there then. As uh, just a little bit of extra oomph from the, from the rear here. There we go. That's fantastic. In fact, maybe those could go down there. No, I don't think so. Right, that is the calzai all put back together. All that remains is to uh, delete these white blocks and then add the cockpit, the final part of the puzzle. And there we go. The calzai has been rebuilt. Hopefully exactly as it was before. Now, for this, the end of this video, I've been thinking of uh, taking the calzai out and uh, giving a little spin as a plasma vehicle and uh, for this I think we should take some tier 8 plasmas possibly we may not be able to fit the tier 8s so we'll have to see about that but uh, hopefully we will be able to and uh, place one there and one there okay absolutely no way that's gonna happen we will, however, hopefully be able to place all of the tier 7s. We may even be able to fit one T8 on the top. Are we going to be able to do that? I doubt it somehow. No, just just a little bit too much. Though, having spoken about getting this being the safe thing to remove, no. <laughs> that was too much to hope for. Had that been enough, then I would have gotten rid of it. But uh, alas, no. Okay, well, uh, I need a, another tier 7 plasma then, if I can still afford one. Yes, I can. Fantastic. We are saved. So the uh, Kalzai is going to go out in a plasma bombardment configuration. I am interested in seeing how it handles this. Then, after that, the only thing that we'll need to test is SMGs, but I really don't think the Kalzai will, will be good in SMG mode. SMGs seem to be a much more close combat weapon than they used to be, or at least they've gone back to those close combat routes, and uh, yeah, as you can tell, the Kalzai is not really built for that kind of uh, punishment. So, I shall see you in a battle. And welcome back. As you can see, the teams are not exactly even here. We have one extra plasma. I believe we also have one extra SMG. The enemy have two extra healers. Oh, hello. Right, let's be on the move. Right, what are we going to do? We've got a couple of people around here. Uh, right, okay, as a plasma bot, I don't really want to be right up next to my opponents, but I don't want to be too far away either. I don't want to be on the other side of the battlefield kind of uh, rail sniping, but uh, likewise, the plasma does enjoy ranged combat a little bit more than uh, many of the other bots. And it looks like I have a nemesis! How terrifying! I'm very afraid. Can you not hear the fear in my voice? Uh, let's see if I can't get into a position to uh, snipe these fellows over there. About there will do. Uh, that was a reasonable shot. Let's get you locked and fire. That is going to miss. It's a shame, but uh, it was a reasonable attempt, I feel. Uh, let's uh, get another couple of plasmas over there. We may catch them if they are still moving around in that area. Just with the splash damage. It's worth doing as a plasma. 
Ooh, we've got someone moving up rather rapidly. Got a plasma drone spotted over yonder. Well done taking him out. Let's uh, get a couple of shells around there. Is he even remotely close to that location? I don't think he is. Okay. Well, it looks like the uh, enemy are being kept in their base right now. By choice or by our team just basically charging in there? I don't know, but uh, we need to get down there. Let's get you pinged and fire. Bingo! I don't know why I've got so much accuracy about for hitting enemy uh, planes with my plasmas, but uh, I do enjoy it. So try and get some shots over yonder and about there. Once again, really, if I could only channel that accuracy into regular fights, I would be laughing. It would be grand, but uh, alas... It doesn't ever seem to work that way. I'm going to seek cover for now. Got a lot of badness over there. Let's uh, get back up. And about there. If we can. No bad times. That's not good. I've uh, lost most of my maneuverability. Uh, losing those rear legs. Always such a pain. Right. We need to get you guys locked. And about there. No. Bad miss. About there, I think. If I can fire fast enough. Okay, that was a decent shot. Need to wander forward. We've got a lot of damage coming down on our allies here. Need to get in there. Need to take out their healer. And hello you. That was a terrible, terrible shot. Okay, let's uh, try go for the SMG back here. Let's try and gang up. Focus fire on one enemy. Take them out a little bit faster. There we go. He's no longer a threat to us. We can probably afford to ignore him for the most part. I cannot ignore you guys, though. Let's uh, get down there and fire. Take off your rear legs. Make you a little bit hard to get around. Ooh, I'm going to need some help. I fear that the SMG is likely heading up this way. No, I believe the SMG may be dead. But in that case, moving in. We'll take out your legs, reduce their ability to move around and heal each other. There we go, fantastic. And one more about there. Ah, oh, drat. My targeting aircraft has failed me. Ah, oh, fantastic. You are doomed. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe you've got a little bit of fight left in you. And let's uh, get down there. No, he's gone. Let's have a look around. Hmm. No, we're still okay. No one has said anything to me, or at least uh, if they did, it was a while ago, and I have not spotted it. Well, it looks like we're capturing this area, which is not terribly bad. Oh, okay. Good game, everyone. The last enemy was either defeated or gave in to the pain. Succumbed. Ah, that wasn't a bad little uh, fight. That was the first victory of the day as well. We'll see what we did. Two kills, two assists, two scouts. That's actually uh, a reasonable spread of things. Not a whole lot of damage. I think we could have done a lot better. But uh, a fairly good return. 25,756 RP and 44 Tech 7 uh, victory points. Now then, that is all that's going to be in this particular episode, but I have not finished playing around with the Kalzai in different weapon configurations. I think we'll probably continue playing uh, with the Plasmas for at least another episode, I think, just to get it out of the way, get a really good taste for how well it can operate with those plasmas. I might even drop the tier 9 radar. I'm not sure about that one because plasmas do benefit from extreme range. So maybe I should keep that. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll have to think about that in the next episode. I do hope you like this one though. And I hope you will be joining me in the next. But until then and as always. Do take care.